I guess the uh, the main role is much more closely working with business rather than almost in parallel with business. I think that's the key thing. Um, there's a challenge of trying to drive innovation, trying to drive differentiation in the organisation. Um, a lot of our survey work has shown that CEOs don't actually think that they're very innovative when it comes to IT. And uh, given the challenges organisations have got in terms of cloud, mobile, big data, social media, this is, if anything, putting more pressure on the IT organisation, but at the same time creating a great opportunity to allow them to get that company to differentiate in a marketplace based on how they deploy those technologies. And on the business side, uh, the CIO, the IT organisation, is under huge pressure to make money for the business, you know, grow the business, to achieve all their operational targets, to cut costs, and at the same time to uh, drive loyalty and actually recruit new customers as well. So there's a huge amount of pressure that's pulling them in different directions. I mean, cutting costs and making money at the same time are normally quite difficult things to do. So that's on the business side. And then on the customer side, you've got a situation where customer trust is at an all-time low uh, against the fact customers have got a much higher expectation level than they've ever had in the past. Uh, they're much more likely to churn if they had a bad experience than ever in the past, and they're much more likely to tell everybody about their bad experiences through the social channels. So the CIO has got this challenge between they've got a, an unhappy customer base who are very negative and very willing to churn, at the same time, a huge amount of business pressures put down them from the CEO. So that's, that's the backdrop they're trying to, trying to tackle. Those, those major fundamental nexus of forces, social, mobile, big data, it's going to have a profound impact on the customer experience because those are going to be the deferred, the default channels by which customers engage with business. Uh, the, the mobile channel, the social channel, those are channels how companies are going to sell, they're going to market and they're going to support their customers. So if you don't deliver a good experience on those channels, then um, life will become very difficult in terms of meeting the business goals. So absolutely there's a critical link between customer experience and the, and the new next generation of channels of communication. Well, to be honest, analytics has always been a relatively high topic for the last couple of years. Um, but the reason it's there is because organisations are, are struggling to firstly understand their customers and then secondly know what's the best thing to do with their customers. So whether it's which marketing campaign to send out, whether it's you know, which of these customers is likely to churn and we need to do something about it, whether it's which of these customers is most likely to buy our new product or not, that requires analytics. Um, so that that's why it's the number one, because they, they need their understanding in order to drive their sales, marketing and service strategies forward. We're saying mobile is going to have a huge influence on the way businesses interact with their customer. Um, whether it's the fact the, the mobile phone is used to do the transaction itself or whether the mobile phone is just used as a means to create the marketing environment to raise the awareness that that customer needs to go and buy something. I mean, either way is part of that forecast that 50% you know, of all uh, on and offline transactions will be influenced by that mobile device. And it's just, you know, just trying to make the point of how profound mobile is in the current marketplace. As well as just having the ability to launch a marketing campaign mobily, you've got this concept of context to take into account, this extra information that you know about the customer. So at a very basic level, you've got the location. So you know where that customer is at that moment in time, and you can use that to feed them information. Um, if you know a little bit about the customer themselves, you can use that to maybe send them a targeted message, an SMS message, because you know them, they're a customer of yours. If you put those two together, you can start adding some more context. So for example, if you're Starbucks and you know that this is a customer of yours and you know where they are, you can say, hey, there's a Starbucks shop around the corner, why don't you go and have a coffee? So you can get to that level. The next level above there is when you now start to enrich the context even more, taking into account social data. So now you know who their friends are and what they like doing and what they don't like doing and you can now feed that in to the context as well to enrich it even in more detail.